What's up, F4A squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Friday to you guys. So it has been a relaxing week for me. I mean, it's always a relaxing week for me anyways, but without having to think about recording a video or this, that, and the other pertaining to my work, it was pretty nice to not have to do that. But I did have to do a little filming, of course, to have a video for you guys today. Otherwise, my next video would have came out Sunday instead of Friday because I would have started uh, filming again on Friday and throughout the weekend. And so I did do a little filming, little tidbits here and there throughout the week to have this particular video for you guys to post today. Alrighty, so what is going on today? Today, today, today. I am so super, super proud of myself because I grilled one more time after the steak grilling that did not turn out too well, and nor did my grilling technique was the best during that video. But I did it one more time, and I think I got it now. And today, I'm going to have a Walmart salad, and of course, those chicken Caesar salads, you know, they just don't give you enough chicken, in my opinion. So I'm going to grill myself today two chicken thighs to go along with that Walmart Caesar salad. But that's a little later in the day. In the day. Now, I'm about to head to Lake Placid because they are known, one of the things that Lake Placid is known for is the city of murals. And you guys know I love going and watching and looking at murals. I went to, uh, I made a video in Tennessee where I took you guys to go look at some murals. I made a video in Philadelphia uh, probably two years ago when I took you guys as well to look at some murals. So when I found out, well, I saw it by driving because when you drive up and down 27, heading to Sebring and back, you'll see the sign on the wall, which I'll show you guys on my way once I get there. It says, Lake Placid, the city of murals. So I'm going to go and check out some of the murals as well as the little town of Lake Placid. I don't know if it's a little town or not. I haven't been there, but I'm going to check it out. So that's what we're going to do today. And then we're going to head back here to the campground. And I have one truck and one trailer accessory that I bought that I'm going to also share with you guys today. So without further ado, it is 11 a.m. in the morning on a Wednesday and let's head to Lake Placid and check it out. Okay guys, I am here and it did not take me long at all to get here. This is a small area here. It looks to be about three blocks or so going down that way and I've already passed a few uh, murals. So I'm gonna backtrack while walking and we're going to go and check out this little town of Lake Placid. I'm quite sure it's bigger than what I see here, but this is look this looks like where all the a couple of food places and stuff are. This is open, they got chicken sandwiches, lunch lineup. I may go in there and get something to eat. So let's take a look at Lake Placid. Let's go across the street. Wow, this is a nice one right here. Wow, sir, I really like this one. Very nice. Let's see what the sign says. Lake Placid High School, Green Dragons, 1940. All right. This is a really nice one. It fits so perfectly against this wall here. All right, let's walk back down this way. I see another mural coming up. Wow. 
Wowzer. Wowzer, that looks so nice. Look at that. I'm gonna try to get right. Try to get a front view. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. And let's go and see who this is. Sponsored by Lake Placid Board of Realtors. Roy Hampton and Terry Smith. Visionaries. This looks so nice. Oh, this is a college. South Florida State College, Lake Placid Center. And I think I saw one more because I'm heading back towards the way I came in. And I think it's one more down this way. And this looks like a elementary school. And check out these <laughs> along the gate here. <laughs> oh, okay, this is Lake Placid Child Development Center. And look what they have going along. <laughs> these are Elbow and Buzzy. <laughs> They have a few of them. <laughs> Roseman, sponsored by Willard and Opal Campbell. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting like a, a Wizard of Oz type of feel here. <laughs> There's Lady, sponsored by Ron and Carol Davis. And whiz bang. <laughs> it's sponsored by Lenora Brayman. Brahman. Again, this is uh, Lake Placid Child Development Center. <laughs> Purple pants. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And I'm not gonna read all of them, but oops, I almost tripped there. But this is what the rest of them looks like. So nice. All right, I see one mural over across the street. We're gonna to head towards that one, and then we're gonna head on back towards where I parked. Toodles. <laughs> that says toodles. That's funny. Oh, that's if I can get across the street. Thankfully, 
it is not too hot out here right at the moment. Wow, look at this one. Oh my goodness. Man, they got this tree right here. But look at this one. Wowzer. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to get a better view of it. Man, look at that. And they have some going down the Walgreens wall. I need to try to get a better photo of this one, better view. Because this one is amazing too. Wowzer. I don't see any sign to say who made this one. But look at that. That's pretty nice. Hey guys, I am coming up on my next mural. I hope it's okay for me to stand on that grass because I don't know how else I'm going to show you guys this. This is the next one. Wowzer. That looks so nice. And once again, I don't see any sign that says who made this one. Very nice. Okay, I see two more murals. Oh, here's one right here. Wowzer, look at this one. This is like the post office. And this might, it, might be the post office right here. <laughs> Wowzer, this one looks really nice as well. I hope you guys can see it well because the sun is out. Wowzer, look at that. Covering the entire building. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a photo of all of this. Let's see. I'm going to try to do a panoramic type of photo. Alright guys, coming up on my next one. Which is right here. Wowzer. Look at that. Pure Spirits of Gum Turpentine. This is really nice. Oh my gracious. I know I'm not gonna be able to get all this in one photo. 
but let's look at who made this. Dedicated to the memory of Walter Fossine Coachman, President Consolidated Naval Stores, Willis Theodore Sessions, Manager of Camps, Robert James Hargrove. Hargrove. Man, this is amazing. This is amazing. All right, guys, I see a few more that I didn't recognize. Right here. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> oh man, that looks really nice. I am so impressed with these murals. Wowzer. I wish I had the talent to paint something like this. Let's see who made this one. This is in memory of Florence Booker by the family of Mildred Booker Bates, 2001. Man, look at that. If only I could have the skills to do this. I'll be painting all across the world. Really nice, really nice. I did see another one. Oh my goodness, there's one right there. They're popping up everywhere now. Okay, I think I see two more after this one that I'm about to show you guys. Oh, look at this little setup here. This is the Rotary Park, Lake Placid Noon Rotary. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. Wowzer, look at this. Oh, there's a mural over there that I did not see. <laughs> How about that? And then here's one to my right as well. This one is in memory of Edith Wood. Wowza, I am just enjoying this. Look at this. Then we got a bridge to go over. Really, really nice. Man, oh man, so very nice. <laughs> All right, this is, for what I can see, my next to the last mural. Right here. <laughs> Look at that. <them. laughs> 
<laughs> oh me oh my I tell you Bear hollow bulbs. Look at that. How nice is that? I thought I saw another one out the corner of my eye, but we'll see. Okay guys, coming up on my next mural, which is so nice looking. Wowzer, check this one out. That is nice. It extends this whole wall on this building. Look at that, the whole wall. That's really nice. I think you guys get the idea of one of Lake Placid's treasures and one that they are proud of here in Lake Placid is their murals and I can absolutely see why they call this the city of murals because it must I must have walked past at least a dozen to 15 of them already <laughs> and I'm probably about I hope you guys can see me I am probably about two and a half to three blocks from where my truck is parked but I see one more that I'm going to show you guys and then I'm going to call it a wrap. I like the way that the murals almost represent the building that the murals are on. I think that is so cool. And there it is. How nice is that? That's a little Ford automobile to the right. This is really nice. Oh, yeah, the sun went down just a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better. I like this. I like the colors that they are. Nice, nice. Oh, man, I didn't see this mural here on my way walking down. Look at that. <laughs> Wowzer. I didn't even see this one. This is a nice one as well. This one is by Terry Smith. Wowzer, look at this one. <laughs> this is really nice. Just when I thought I was done. And this one pops up. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a little bear behind the bush there. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, guys, I didn't feel like doing any grilling this evening, so we're gonna skip that part. So I'm gonna hop right into the accessories that I bought for 
the truck and the trailer. I have one accessory for the trailer and one for the truck. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. I'm gonna start off with the one with the trailer. Now I saw these, I actually just out the top of my head thought to look these up and look and see if they had something to, uh, to uh, do what I wanted it to do. So <laughs> this is definitely going to help me to be a little more organized when it comes to me packing up everything and taking off from one destination to the next and also helps me to stay organized once I get to that destination. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys what these are. Now you don't have to be in, in the van life to have these. I think if you have a home and these might be uh, useful for you. What I bought are some water holes. What I bought were some water hole bags. Let me, uh, they're not really bags, but they are like, they hold your uh, water hoses, your different types of water hoses. And whoa, this thing is a lot bigger than I thought, which is great. Cause y'all know me, I usually buy something and get it and it'll be too small. Cause y'all, I don't look at the specs and everything, but yeah, this is pretty big. And they have them labeled as, see if I can get it so y'all can see it. See that? Your fresh water hose. Then they have one, four of them came in a pack. And these were just 30, $38 for four of them. Then they have one for your electric lines to go through, go in. This is just an accessory bag for you to put your little odds and ends in. And this last one is for <laughs> dirty water. This is your dirty water bag. So I can put like my um, sewage holes in here because I have two sewage holes. There's only one fit in the storage area in the back of the trailer. And then I usually just throw the other one inside underneath in the, excuse me, in that storage area. So now I have this bag. I can put that extra hose into this bag here. And what I probably do is just go ahead and put all the hoses in here when I'm ready to take off and travel and just put them here in the back of the truck instead of trying to find a place in the trailer. So I really think these are useful. They're going to help me to, like I said, become stay organized and just wrap those hoses up when I'm ready to take off and put each of them in their prospective bags and take off. They also come with, they come with these little handles. So you can hook the handles up and actually carry them, but I probably won't use these. I probably just toss them in the back. I will put these in the uh, link in the description, the Amazon link in the description. So if you're interested in these, I'm telling you now, you don't have to be a van lifer to have these. If you have a home and you have water hoses and everything, these are some good little pouches or containers to put your hoses in. All right, guys, it is actually the next morning. Uh, I met an FOA yesterday when I was just about to get into the last and final thing that I wanted to show you guys. And we got to talking until it turned nighttime outside. So I wasn't able to finish the video yesterday. So it is the next day, Thursday, and I'm going to show you guys my last and final accessory. And this is for the truck. Now, I actually bought three accessories for the truck. Um, 
you saw the big box that was on the uh, truck yesterday. That's uh, another one of the accessories, but I'll get into that uh, in another video because I'm waiting on my third uh, truck accessory as well. For this right here, this right here is a bed liner for my truck. So I have a bed liner and two other things. I was about to tell you guys what the two other things is, but I'll, I'll let you guys <laughs> wait and see. <laughs> Now in my head, I'm thinking that this is, should be as simple as unfolding it and laying it on the truck and that should be it. Shouldn't be no screws or anything involved. I don't really like it because it's not a perfect fit. It's, it's a lot of room on the sides. I think the, the bed liner should be wider to be more snugged on the sides. I mean, I know it's gonna take some putting some things on top of it to, to flatten it out completely. But right now, visually looking at it, I, I, I don't like it too much, you know? Let me show you guys something that I have that if I would have thought about it ahead of time, I may not have used or bought that. Now, I had these, a, <clears throat> excuse me, I had these a long time. And what they are, uh, you put these on, uh, they're moving blankets. You put these on a uh, truck to help your stuff, uh, I guess, not get damaged when moving. So look at this. Look at that, that all, almost already looks better than what I had.
All right, not perfect, but you get the idea that I could have possibly used these two things instead of buying a bed liner that doesn't even fit right. Tell you. These people, these aftermarket places that you buy accessories and things for, for whatever are never, never 100% right. You know what I mean? So I guess this bed liner won't straighten out and visually look better to me until I start putting some things in it, which will be in a few days because I am taking off and heading towards Ohio for my next campground for the next almost two months. Um, on the 29th of this month. I might even leave on the 30th because I don't need four days exactly to get up to Ohio because if I even drive six hours a day, I can still make it there in three days. But right now I'm giving myself four days, five hours of driving each day. <clears throat> but that's the bed liner. As of now, I wouldn't even recommend the bad liner. I'm quite sure it's going to flatten out and look absolutely perfect or a lot better than what I'm seeing right now. But, but I definitely, I definitely would recommend these water hose holders and accessory holder for one. If again, you are a van lifer and or you don't have to be a van lifer, a homeowner, and you have some water hoses you want to store away, these would be great to have. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time. That little morning mountain, that little morning, I said Mountain Dew, I was about to say more Mountain Dew. That little morning dew where everything is all damp and wet. Oh man, it takes a while for the sun to come out and dry everything out. It's, it's something else. All right, guys, see you on the next one.